to drill the holes for the cotter in the end of the three quarter 1018 steel bar. The axle housing will be three quarter inch bright pipe. Schedule 40. Two machinery washers, one on each side of the cast iron wheel. This will be the setup. And to drill that hole there consistently in the end of the of the axle, this is what I do. And I'm using these five thirty seconds cotters. To drill the hole, I've got a V block all purpose set up in the drill press. Two C clamps to hold it in a fixed position. I have installed a strap and a short piece of steel bar so that when I put the when when I when I put that bar up there I, I just go ahead and 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 butt it right up against the end right there. That way all of them will be the same distance from the end of the bar. You may ask why I did not use the drill guide to drill these holes? Good question. The answer is most anybody has a B block or a piece of angle iron. You can take two pieces of angle iron, clamp them in here, and make a trough for them to fit in. Works really good also. But most people don't have a drill guide. And this right here is really fast and it's good enough. And if you if you drill the hole in this one, the other question is when I turn it around, how do I get the other hole in the same plane up and down, both of them to match on each end? And I just eyesight them. If I wanted them to be exact, I would put them in the milling machine, mill this one, and then just traverse the table down and drill the other one. There are several different ways to decide this point on this end and this point on this end. So uh, you can use the appropriate. This just fast and gets it done. And these are each individual one are one of a kind. It's not a, this is not a CNC operation. So, you know, just uh, a good drill bit is required or it will wander. You'll be all over the piece of the round stock if you do not have a very, very good drill bit. Clean them chips off about three times I have found out on this stringy type 1018. We build an engine carts today. The cross piece steel that I use uh, under the engine bolts is it's a quarter inch thick, two inches wide, and then ever how long you make it ever how long you want the cart to be. Like so, would that would be a nine inch wide cart. It's just regular hot roll steel. If you're gonna build a cart, you just well so get you about get you about twenty foot of it and start sawing. The main cross pieces are four inches wide, quarter inch thick by ever how wide you want the cart to be. This cart that I'm building today is uh, uh, like one and maybe even a, a medium size engine up to like a two horse pair. Uh, the ones I am building today are for a McCormick Deer and one and a half horse pair. Uh, and a dish pan, one and a half horsepower, and a two horsepower, a little Nelson cart, Nelson Brothers. So I, I, I have I have cut out here. I needed a cart, so I said, well, I just well to build carts for a day. To to build one cart, you will need 
this many pieces, you will need five pieces of metal. Now I've already cut metal for a while, and as you can see, I done been drilling some holes too. And this hot roll steel, when you get it cut, you see that there? Y'all see that slag type finish on that metal? That's not good. So what you do is you run and, and clean it up. Now we got a real good usable piece of metal right there. And you can see that I've been kind of busy. And the amount of holes that you're going to drill is in the, the, steering, the steering plate. You have two holes on this side for the runner, two holes on that side the runner, two holes in the front for a hole down, and one hole in the middle for a pivot. The pivot will go like so, and you put a bolt right in yonder, and now you've got a pivot right there. Works real good. The, uh, the thickness of this metal, if you were going to put a, build this type cart for a heavier engine, you could actually go up to a half inch thick plate here, and it would be really, really strong. This is quite strong. Uh, uh, I have been building this type of carts for a while, and it seems to work really good. This will be the pivot mechanism. Just finish drilling 177 holes. I did set up a jig fixture on the milling machine, and all of the holes that are in these corners are identical, meaning that you can stack one plate on top of the other one, the complete amount of, of plates that I drilled, and put a bolt through all four corners with no restrictions. It's really, it's, it's really an easy way to repeat a hole. But what I wanted to show you is this is the front plate, the pivot hole in the center, tied down in the runner bolts. You need one of those. And the rear tie plate, you need one of those to leave the center hole out. And then you need two. And these right here are kind of optional, but I think they do might add a little bit of strength to it. And these I put under the skid on the bottom where the bolts goes through the engines. Two of those. And then you need this pivot plate. One hole in the center.